Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. After a long break, we're here to make some Italian food. Today we're making lasagna. Basic ingredients you would need: salt, maida, and olive oil. If you have zero zero flour, now is your chance to use it. So you pile up your flour, make a little hole like a well, pour in some olive oil, and crack an egg into it. Use a fork. and keep mixing and blending it into the flour try to avoid lumps so if you start from the inside of the well and keep blending you probably end up with a paste which you can then eventually mix with your hands for 1 cup of maida you would need about 2 eggs Once you've cracked open your second egg, you can follow the same process of using a fork and blending the egg into the flour. The easiest and the best way to get everything together to form a proper dough is to use your hands. There's nothing like an old school dough making afternoon. It's good exercise for your arms and it really tells you the exact texture and when you should stop kneading your dough. keep collecting dry bits of your flour from all around now at this point if you feel your dough is too dry please feel free to keep adding water in small parts and keep kneading and make sure that it's an elastic stretchy dough that's soft but still stretchy to test your dough you need to pull it apart if it breaks very easily you need to knead it for a little longer add a little more water it shouldn't be breaking very easily because you need it to be nice strong and really stretchy if you feel you've added too much water suddenly it's fine just keep kneading it and it will all come together when your dough is ready there will be no sediments left on your platform you will notice how it slowly takes in all the oil moisture and everything that was on the platform that you were making your dough this is a sign that your dough is ready it should be soft and really tender roll out your dough with a lot of flour dusted on the platform because you need your dough to not be very sticky and stick to your rolling pin Now while you're rolling this make sure to try and get a rectangular shape or you'll be wasting a lot of dough Make sure to roll it really thin and almost translucent like Make sure to dust your dough every now and then when you're turning it around or when you lay it flat anywhere Once your dough begins to stick to your platform it's not going to turn out into a great pasta. At this point when you can see um your dough has rolled out into a nice translucent sheet you can start shaping it. This sheet is very versatile. You can use it as your pasta base to make ravioli, lasagna, tagliatelle, penne etc so um in the beginning i cut some strips for a little bit of pasta and the next bit the squares are all lasagnas so your lasagna sheets have to be dried out and dusted with tons of flour so that they don't stick on each other while they're drying up leave it on a plate or on a piece of paper or on a um tea towel just make sure that it's dusted well and maybe after 4 hours of airing them out you can turn them around so that they all dry evenly once you've finished drying them and they're crispy you can put them in a freezer in a little bag so that you use them a little later 
However, I use my lasagna sheets fresh. You pop them in hot boiling water and it starts floating up. Once it comes up to the surface and it's floating, you can just toss them out of the water and use them directly in your dish to bake a lovely lasagna dish. I've used some mushrooms, garlic and some parma ham on top for garnish. There's nothing better than fresh homemade lasagna. I hope you try this recipe out and tag me when you do. If you haven't already, please follow my YouTube channel for more recipes on on various cuisines. Thanks.